There you go. Hit him with that. Go back. Distortion. W. <gasps> Hear that. Alright, so you guys already know the basics of customization. Check it out. Ooh, okay, okay. Nah, these are low-key tough though. I ain't gonna lie. Wait. Which one should I pick? Yo, this one looks dumb as hell. <laughs> Alright, smirk, I guess. What the heck was that? Okay. But yeah, this is you you're able to select your mana color. That's pretty tough. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rock with blue. Finalize. Alright, so after it sends you to the tutorial, which then discusses the main components that you need to know in the game, and it also shows you all of the movement and controls. Damn. Okay. So Okay. Alright, that's tough. Quest log. Alright, track. Alright, so boom. We got a little scythe, right? So this is what we did. Let me show y'all. So we went to the blacksmith. We talked to this guy. We actually have a variety of options. Check this out. We got a dagger, katana. We got a short dagger, steel longsword. We got wraps. We got a whole bunch. But, you know, I picked the scythe out of everything else. Uh, I'm going to show y'all a little bit of combat with the scythe. So here's the M1s. All right. Here's the crit. All right. And then if you jump in the air, it does a down slam. And you're able to do a couple M1s right after. It's actually pretty cool. The grip animation. Everything has a different grip animation. It's pretty tough. It's a little bit bloody, but hey, it's still cool as hell. Okay, bet. So he has skills I don't. So let's test this out. Dodge that. Ooh, okay. You see that clash? Dodge. Wait, wait. Nah, I'm not losing, bro. Down slam. Oh, I missed. I keep forgetting I can block. Bro, if I had skills, this would be so much better. Oh, I'm supposed to press G. Okay, I see. No way I just did that. Weave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Dodge back. G, G. I'm not even going to grip him. That was a decent fight. But I want skills now, so I'm going to do some PP with skills. That is a good move. Okay. Oof, leave that. Bro, he does so much damage. What the hell? Bro, he just parries everything. I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting clapped. Yo, like... Oh, the pairing is so delayed. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Ooh, I'm dead. This is a good fight. He's low key clapping me though. I can't fake. Oh, he ran into that W. That saved me. No, I'm dead. You are simply bad product. Yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting distortion is number two, not. There you go. Hit him with that. He's stunned. Weave that. Oh, I thought I weaved it. Almost had it. Ooh, go back, go back. Distortion. W. Hear that? Oh yeah. Ah, GG. NPCs, right? These are enemy NPCs that raid the village, and your goal is to obviously kill the enemy NPCs. Uh, I feel like they're not that tanky, to be honest. But yeah, it's an event. I'm pretty sure you get, you know, a decent amount of XP from it. Yo, this is something new I've never seen, but this is some of the PVE. It's pretty darn cool. It's not attacking me, so I'd assume. Look at that grip animation, though. Oh, it's gone. Oh! Okay. I'm pretty sure you can dodge that. Yeah, but this, I cannot kill it. I'm level 5. I'm taking way too much damage. But I'm gonna show y'all its grip animation, because it's low-key cool. 
Look. There you go. Alright. Look at that. That is brutal. Alright, so here's a castle where you can get loot crates that can give you either moves or weapons. So as you guys can see, there are some crates here. It's already looted, but when you click on it, it has a couple rings. These are like trinkets that you can sell for money and get better weapons. And usually you can get lucky and get something out of it. One thing I forgot to mention is when you press M, it opens this up. And this is where you can see your stats. You guys don't know vitality is your HP. You can unlock moves and talents by upgrading this. Agility is obviously, you know, how much you can run, your stamina, I should say. Affinity is the magical energy and ability to cast spells, which is this blue bar at the bottom. So here's some extra moves I forgot to use. So first we have Blazing Strike. Okay. It stuns and it also does a drop kick on him. Next you have Right Hand Eclipse. Sends out fog. And that's really it. I don't think it does that much damage. It's kind of a trash move. We're gonna show you guys the dagger as well, so. Okay, here we go, bro. We're fighting. Gosh! You sure we're fighting this NBC? We're gonna take it on and see what happens. Gosh, bro, what the hell? Yeah, hold on, let me crit. Ooh. Yo, that looks like freaking wind card from Deep Oak. Nah, not really, but it looks a little bit similar. Bro. I got this dude infinite. Wrong person. Trevor, we're trying to kill this damn boss. What is he about to do? Yo, he's gripping people by just standing. Oh, no! Last thing we're going to talk about is slots. So, you start off with one slot, you don't get any more. You can buy some more slots if you want, though. Cost 200 Robux, just like Deep Woken. And after you do make your avatar obviously you can still customize it so if you mess up you can still do it and uh i'll keep you guys updated when the races come out or i'm not really sure if they already have it in the game but you know i'll let you guys know all right guys so that's all for the video hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have any questions make sure to leave it in the comments below the discord if you guys want to join this game Link in the description for that, check the link in the description for everything. There's also a Trello so you can check out some more information that I might have missed. I actually missed a lot of information. There's also a whole bunch more weapons that look cooler than the, than the ones I showed you, but I wasn't able to obtain them. I'm a little confused with that. And yeah, that's really all guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.